Let's walk through an example of how you use the 3D camera tracker. For this example, I'm going to use a new piece of footage that's not included with the Creating Motion Graphics book. If you have access to the project files that came with this lesson, import from the AE CS6 sources folder the file Artbeats CAN 119. It's a Canadian aerials footage. I'll click open, drag it down to the new comp icon so I have a composition that exactly matches its length. In this particular shot, we have a lot of interesting buildings with a helicopter flying around them. We have buildings in the foreground, buildings in the background, etc. Let's say we wanted to post some sign or billboard or projection on these buildings. To do that, I'm going to import a still image. You can import anything you like. If you have access to the project files that came with Creating Motion Graphics 5th Edition, go to its Sources folder, Stills, and pick something like, I like the DV Beauty Eye image myself. That's going to be a nice thing to put on the side of a building, say it's for a cosmetics company or something. Okay, to place something on one of these buildings, we need to reconstruct where the camera was while flying around these buildings. To do that, we apply the 3D camera tracker. There's a few different ways you can apply it. You can just right click on a layer and you'll see a new option called track camera, not track motion, which means follow one object in the scene, but actually figure out what the camera was doing. You can also use the animation menu where you'll find track camera. The camera is actually an effect. So you can search for camera tracker and apply it from the effects menu, or you can open up window tracker and you'll see that the tracker window has been reworked. I'll drag an extra comp panel here to include separate buttons for track camera, track motion, the warp stabilizer introduced in 5.5, and stabilize motion. Previously, it was tricky to choose whether you got the warp stabilizer or the classic stabilizer. This makes it a lot easier in CS6. Anyway, unlike the traditional tracker and stabilizer, which require you to be inside the layer panel, you can apply both the warp stabilizer and the 3D camera tracker directly from the composition panel. I have my footage selected and I click track camera. You'll notice a banner that is analyzing it. And here in the effects controls panel, you will see information as it starts to step through the frames of this shot. This is not a very fast process because it does need to identify good track points in this footage, then follow them frame to frame throughout this entire shot. That is quite a bit of calculation. And that's why they allow you to go ahead and switch to other compositions, continue doing work in other projects if you want to, all while this happens in the background. The info panel will update you on when the track is done. Let's go ahead and pull that forward, bring the effects control panel forward, and you see it's already finished. Now it's just recreating the camera from the data it has. This particular shot has a lot of things to track. It's not necessarily a short shot, so that's why it took a while to solve the camera. And now After Effects has finished tracking the shot and solving for where it thought the camera was. But did it perform a good track? Well, that's what we're going to work on in the next movie.